Hey Aquarius, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. My name is Danielle. Um, today is a special day for me. Um, it looks like you guys have given me my first 100 views. And it may not be anything to you guys, but it's something to me. Um, and so I appreciate you guys so much for just even, you know, taking some time out just to watch my videos. And I really hope it's been resonating for you guys. So for my gift to you, um, what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and give you guys a reading, an extra reading for today. So we're going to go ahead and do just like a general reading just to kind of see where you guys are right now. Um, and then I think we're going to go ahead and do a two card spread. So if you guys are dealing with someone, you don't know what's going on, what to do. Um, I'm actually going to just tap into your energy just to see how you're feeling about this person. And I'm going to tap into their energy just to see how they're feeling about you. So again, these messages may not resonate for everyone because again, it's generals for Aquarius, you know, in general. So if it doesn't resonate, then hey, you know, sorry, but you know, it's just something I'm just guided to do today. So, you know, hope you guys been doing good. Um, it's Friday. I'm happy. I'm off of work. So I'm not complaining. All right. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Let's start with a general first Aquarius using the romance angel deck here. Give me one second. Just praying over my cards. All right. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on with you guys today. Right, what's going on with Aquarius? Oh, immediately pay attention to the red flags. All right, so the signs are cautioning you guys about something. Let's see what else we have here. I'm going to pull three cards from this deck. Ooh, engagement. Hmm, okay. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, one more card, please make the effort all right great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take okay so hmm let me actually let's do the oracle deck give me one second we're gonna break these down let's see what's going on one moment here so pay attention to the red flag so some of you guys just you know may feel in your gut your intuition something's not right but let's just see what we have here Spirit, if you can give me some cards for pay attention to the red flags for Aquarius, please. Okay, immediately, I have heartache and loss. So, some of you guys could have found out something. Hmm, okay. Let me see. Let's clarify. Give me another card here. Heartache and loss. What's going on for Aquarius? Ooh. Sorry, Aquarius. That's too many cards for me. Let me do that again. Too many cards. Heartache and loss. What's going on with Mmm, deception and envy. Yeah, some of you guys found out something here. So we're going to break that down a little bit more. Um, let me go to engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, so we have solitude here. So some of you guys, you know, like I said here, we pay attention to the red flags with heartache and loss, deception and envy. Some of you guys could have found out something. Others of you guys, you guys could be getting ready to get engaged. It's a good offer here coming. Tell me more. Solitude. Engagement. What do you want Aquarius to know? Okay, memories of love. Yeah, you guys, some of you guys are in a really good place about whoever you're dealing with here. All right, let's go to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Let's see what's going on here. Mm, some of you guys could be possibly suffering in silence. Oh my gosh, Aquarius, what is going on? Suffering in silence. Give me one more card, please. Okay, so positive movement forward. Okay, Aquarius. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's break these cards down because I want to know what's going on. This is crazy. All right, give me one second. Let me grab this deck here. All right, so we're going to break down um, the first section here. Let me slide this to the side. Pay attention to the red flags. Heartache and loss, deception, and envy. What is going on, Aquarius? Ooh, I saw the devil. The devil was peeking at me while shuffling. There he is. Oh, my God. What is going on? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, possibly. But something's just really toxic. All right, let's see. Ooh, y'all, these cards are just like, oh, my God. All right, so let's see what's going on. Tell me more here for Aquarius. 
What's going on with the heartache and loss, deception, and envy for these red flags? What's going on with Aquarius, please? Oof. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely frustrated here with the Seven of Swords. Why are they frustrated? Yeah, some of you guys are not putting in the hard work towards the situation anymore. Someone's not putting in the hard work towards the situation. Yeah, you guys are like, yeah, carrying a burden. Or maybe you've been carrying a burden here. What is going on? One second here. Let's see. Tell me more. Yeah, you guys could be arguing with someone or people here. Um... Mm, I see someone's like stuck in the middle of something. But yeah, it's like you're tired. You're moving on. It's like you're over it. What did they find out? Death. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but because this is in reverse, it's telling me that, yeah, you're ending something here. Tell me what's going on. Death in reverse, please. The Empress. Yeah, some of you guys definitely do not want a new beginning in this situation with whoever you're dealing with. Oh my gosh. Could be an air sign here. Um, Aquarius, this is you, Gemini or Libra. Um, if not, you guys could be dealing with another air sign. But it's like you're realizing from what I'm getting, you found something out, you're over, you're tired. I feel like this person has done this repeatedly over and over to you. You know it needs to come to an end, but some of you guys aren't cutting it off. Why not? King of Swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So... Some of you guys can be dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If not, it's like you guys, it's like you've been going through this little back and forth situation with this person, but you are tired and you're no longer putting, you know, time, effort, or energy into the situation and you're moving on. What did they find out? What was the deception here? The emperor in reverse. Could be an Aries, but you feel like there's no stability with this person. Okay. What did they find out? Yeah, but you guys want love or love is coming in fast. Some more. Yeah, Knight of Cups. Somebody is confident about something here. But for some reason, things are not turning around. I feel like you guys are just ready to stop. Yeah, you guys do not have a happy home with this person. So I'm going to stop there um, for some of you guys. Let's see what's going on with the next set of Aquarius here. So remember, guys, I said that you guys um, or some of you guys are going through an engagement or you're getting ready to get engaged. Yeah, it's a solid offer. You're thinking about love here. What is going on? Tell me more. Could be with a Leo. Or maybe some of you guys don't have the strength to do something here. Tell me more. Whatever it is, you're coming out of worrying about it with the four swords in reverse. Ooh, I saw the two of cups, but it didn't jump out, guys. Okay. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys didn't have the strength because I have the three of swords in reverse. So maybe some of you guys could have found out something or you're disappointed. Could have been a third party. Some of you guys found out about, but maybe over. Tell me about the three of swords in reverse. That could be that deception. Yeah. There's a new beginning coming your way. What's this new beginning with the ace of wands, please? But some of you guys aren't sure if you want to start over with this person. That could be that deception we were just looking at. Okay. Yeah. Somebody at this point now is one. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry about the glare guys. Um, but somebody is wanting to offer you security. They're wanting to offer you their cup of love here with the ace of cups. Yeah. What did I say? Ace of pentacles. Somebody's trying to offer you something. Somebody's trying to give you guys a gift, something they've been hoping to wish for. Maybe something you've been hoping to wish for. Somebody is definitely trying to manifest something for you guys here with the magician. Tell me more, please justice in reverse some of you guys could be dealing with the libra if not um hmm some you guys could have just found something out somebody could be getting out of some type of legal situation what's going on with justice in reverse please justice in reverse mm, okay so yeah i have the world here and the ten of pentacles so somebody could be getting ready to travel to come and see you. Um, they want to basically give you guys balance, some type of contentment here in a relationship. Yeah, you guys found out something here, but you feel like things are moving really slow. Yeah, definitely you guys are dealing with someone from your past here with the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to now offer you this equal partnership, this give and take relationship here. Maybe they weren't giving it to you in the past, but somebody is like, I'm done. I think you guys, somebody walked away. And now that you walked away from this person, now this person is coming to see you and they want to offer you something because now it's like, you know, if you felt like you were left out in the cold or this person felt like they were left out in the cold, they're getting over it here. 
Yeah, but somebody's still feeling like things are not going to improve here with the Four of Pentacles. Maybe somebody's worried about finances. Yeah, somebody is juggling something here. They're trying to make a decision. Tell me more. Two of Pentacles. All right, so I have the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with the fire sign again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but somebody's not being positive. Maybe I feel like somebody's in the other person's ear, but someone wants to let go of feeling like something was lost here. The moon could be dealing with a Pisces. Tell me about the moon. That can go two way. Oop. Yeah, somebody is not speaking up. It's something that maybe, maybe they're scared, fear, because Ace of swords in reverse somebody's not communicating something to you maybe you guys found out about a secret but there is an offer coming here with the page of pentacles talking about this offer y'all the devil is trying to come out like oh my god yeah somebody wants to move forward with you guys okay could be a cancer all right we're gonna stop there let me look at make the effort all right so great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take but some of you guys are suffering in silence um but it's saying that you need to move forward tell me more yeah, some of you guys feel like you're not going to have a victory here in this situation. Whoever this is resonating, resonating for, what I tell you, the devil has been trying to come out. Again, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. If it's not a Capricorn, maybe this person is toxic. You're just tired. Tell me about the devil, please. Yeah, so somebody's trying to get balance in this situation, but my eyes are focused on this person, you know, dishing out stuff to two different people so maybe you guys were in a third party situation or found out about a third party situation that's why the devil's peeking out here yeah some of you guys are stuck in limbo with the hangman in reverse you don't know what to do it's like i feel like you guys really love this person but you just you're tired yeah the king of cups in reverse could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio but this person was very manipulative this person was very sneaky they just did things for their own benefit and with the fool here it's like you want to take a leap but it's like you got to be guarded because it's saying don't be a fool like you know pay attention but at the end of the day like you guys want happiness with this person whoever it is tell me about the sun please could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lovers in reverse is like, you want happiness with this person after all of this has, you know, transpired. But at the same time, there's an imbalance here um, in this situation. But it looks like you guys are going to be ooh, coming out of being frustrated here with the Queen of Cups. Um, there's a water sign again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys could be embodying the Queen of Cups. Like you're taking on this nurturing role, you know, but you're very emotional at this time because you're not sure with the Page of Wands if you even want to keep going, trying to build something, trying to plant seeds here. But you're going to come out of being frustrated about it, Aquarius. But you you got to make a decision. Right now, you're undecided here with the Nine of Wands. You're not sure what to do. Yeah, it's like you're not walking away. Whoever whoever this is resonating for, you guys definitely found out something. Um, you're not walking away. But they're saying you're not using your intuition here either. Tell me more. Ooh. I feel like these cards trying to jump out my hands. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell me more. Anything else for Aquarius? Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles here, you guys want things to improve in this situation, but the King of Wands in reverse, again, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sash, but this person was a player, is a player. Tell me more, King of Wands in reverse, please. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse for Aquarius. Yeah, it's like either you have a message that you want to give to this person, this person wants to give you a message, but it's like it's a lot of back and forth in someone's head. Like they don't know what they want to do. But I know one thing, you guys want a peace of mind here with the Nine of Pentacles. But it's like you guys are going through mental conflict. Like you're feeling like something's been lost here. Yeah, because look, you want the Two of Cups. You want to come together with this person. And you're just heartbroken. You're angry. You're upset about what happened. The star, see, this is you, Aquarius. This is your car. Like you guys are having hope. You want hope still in this situation? Yeah. It's like either you want to give this person an offer or they, they want to give you an offer. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Look at that. Somebody's coming out as a king. Somebody wants to give like a, a serious offer. Like Page of Cups, I was actually just getting ready to say, be careful because this person with this offer could just be trying to give you breadcrumbs. But before I even said anything, the King of Pentacles came out. So like this person wants to give you a serious offer. But let's see what's going on. Tell me about the king. Yeah, somebody's coming out of being frustrated about the situation here. And they want balance. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. 
for some of you. But yeah, it's like either you guys don't like the options that you're seeing, you still feel like this person has options. Like, you're like, I don't want to hear it. Yeah, sorry guys, cars just flying all over the place. But yeah, you guys want the Ten of Cups here. You want happiness, you want contentment with this person. Whoever is resonating for, you guys want to come out of feeling like you were stabbed in the back by this person. Yeah, but look, you got to make a decision with judgment here. Yeah, somebody needs to end a three-party situation. Um, yeah, and if, if they did end it, there is an offer coming to you. Again, yeah, and it looks like someone's made a decision with the two of swords in reverse. Ooh, could be a, you guys are air sign. Uh, air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, mm, somebody's creating some stumbling blocks here. They're unsure if they want to give this person a chance. Yep, because they feel like this person is very sneaky. That's like you can't get over it. Yeah, but you guys are trying your best not to look back at the past here with this person for everything that they've done to you. Oh, gosh. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's like you want things to improve, but you're starting to realize there's not going to be a commitment. Some of you guys could be married, getting out of a marriage. Like I said, I got the engagement card, but maybe you're feeling like, look, this is too much. You're not changing. There's nothing here. There's no commitment. And now you guys are isolating yourself from this person. Um, yeah, because look, the truth came out. Oh gosh. That was a lot, Aquarius. Like, I'm so sorry that you guys are going through that. Like, that, that is some crazy energy. That is crazy. But let's do this. Give me one second. Let me get my cards together. I'm going to do um, a two-card spread because I want to know how you feel about this person, even though I kind of, you know, can tell. But let's kind of narrow it down a little bit. Let's get inside their mind. Let's see, you know, how you're feeling about them, how they're feeling about you. Let's see if we can kind of get down to it. So give me one second. Let me get these cards together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the reading so far. Because, oof, there's definitely a lot of energy because y'all made me hot. Like, <laughs> I'm a little warm. <sighs> All right, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit. If you could tap into... Aquarius again for me please let me know how Aquarius is again feeling about this person how this person is feeling about Aquarius what is going on in their mind let's see what's going on what's going on with Aquarius this person here all right feels good guys let's see all right so bottom of the deck yeah, somebody's coming out of being frustrated. I'm so sorry about this glare. The sun is like, you know, here. All right, so Aquarius, this is you. You have the emperor in reverse. So some of you guys could have been dealing with an Aries, but you're feeling like this person, again, there's no stability. And this person, I, they have the ace of swords. They want to communicate with you. So let's break down your energy first, and then we're going to go to your lover. See what's going on. Tell me more about the emperor for Aquarius, please. Yeah, so you guys feeling like there's no stability. You guys want um, you want stability, like, but because you're not getting it, you're stuck in limbo. You guys don't know what to do. Mm. Tell me more. Yeah, it's like at this point, you guys want a new beginning with the Ace of Wands here. Tell me more. Yeah, because with the King of Cups in reverse, again, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, some of you guys... We're dealing with somebody who was very manipulative, someone who's sneaky, someone who just wants things their way. They, they just keep things to themselves. Somebody's not expressing themselves here, which makes sense because, again, their energy, now they have the Ace of Swords, so now they want to come and communicate. But with the Page of Pentacles here, this person um, could have been codependent to you for finances, or they could have been codependent, but it was some type of an addiction here. I have the Empress. So, yeah, you guys could possibly want a new beginning, but... That is also a pregnancy card. Tell me about the Empress, please. Yeah, there were some seeds that were planted. Mmm, okay. Some of you guys, let me see. Tell me more. Page of Wands. Let me see. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys could be actually expecting with this person. And that's why it's, it's so hard for you to walk away. Some of you guys could be pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant. You could have found out somebody was pregnant. Oh my God, y'all, the card just literally flew on my hands, but I saw it. It's, sorry, give me one second. Oh my God. So I have 
the two of swords in reverse. And so it's like, you know, you're not walking away, but you guys made a decision. What's the decision for Aquarius, please? Yeah, you guys don't have a happy home with this person. And now you're, you're wanting balance in this situation. This person is not making you happy at all. Yeah, there's an offer coming in for you guys, but you know, you guys are carrying a burden. You feel like you're not sure if you want to take this offer because you carry the load in this uh, situation or this relationship. You guys are definitely spying on someone here. Maybe you're watching their social media, going through their phones, trying to find information because they're not communicating with you or it could be vice versa. They could be doing it to you. Take it however it resonates, guys. gosh okay so yeah it's like you guys are watching this person because you know this person's a player okay you know this person is, is a player and it's like you you want to come out of being frustrated about the situation but you're still hoping and wishing that things will work out with this person queen of swords in reverse that's you you guys feel like this person or it could be yourself mm. Somebody was creating stumbling blocks, but I got two queens here. Yeah, you guys found out about another woman. All right, so it could be Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Tell me more. Okay, it's asking y'all to have strength. Or maybe for some of you guys, it could have been a three-party situation. For others of you, again, it could be a three-party situation, but you guys are embodying both the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, it looks as though a lot of you guys are no longer putting any time, effort, or energy into the situation. And it's asking you to have strength because this, this is making you guys really angry, upset, sad. Um, but it looks like you made a decision here with judgment. Tell me about this decision. Yeah, you guys are feeling like you were stabbed in the back by this person. Yeah, you're no longer wanting to put in the hard work. Oh my God, why are these cars just like flying sorry guys this is like crazy yeah and with the world here you guys want a new beginning you're tired you're tired of this situation so i'm gonna stop there with you guys and i'm curious to see what this person um is thinking about you what they're feeling about you all right because remember guys they had the ace of swords so now it's like they want to communicate they want to come in and communicate something to you tell me more about the ace of swords what are they wanting to communicate to aquarius please Okay, so maybe they're feeling like they're not going to have a victory with you. Maybe because of something that they did. The three-party situation. Yeah, they're feeling like things are not going to improve at this point. Yep, they're basically back and forth. They're feeling like, you know, maybe you don't want to start something new with them. Or maybe they don't want to start something new with you. Tell me more. Yeah, and that's exactly why love is coming in slow with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So look like, yeah, somebody was definitely in a three party situation. Um, looks like it could have ended, but that's why there's an imbalance here. Yeah. Somebody was definitely juggling to be Gemini here, but this person wants to come out of conflict with you Aquarius at this point. Like, yeah, they basically took a step back and they did some soul searching here. Yeah. There was a lesson for them to learn, but yeah, they've basically been thinking a lot about this. Because, yeah, you could have broke it off with them. Or they broke it off with you. Tell me about the two of cups in reverse, please. Yeah, so they broke something They broke something off with this third-party situation. They ended it, and they want a peace of mind with you now. It's like, here they come. They want to come back. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys, again, could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. But they're basically not feeling positive about the situation. They're not positive you're going to take them back. Somebody was definitely in their ear swaying them. Um, and, but they're ready to move forward. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But again, like, they know something has to come to an end. Yeah, the tower. See, look, there was a tower moment. It, something had to come crashing down fast because the way you guys were building or the way this person was building with you, it wasn't solid at all. Yeah, look, and now they're not being positive because the situation came crumbling down. Yeah, but look, they're coming out of being frustrated about the situation here, Aquarius. Ooh, I saw the car. It didn't come out. But yeah, they feel like something's been lost here between you guys. They could also be worrying about finances, but they are trying their best to turn things around with you. 
justice yeah maybe some of them are trying to get out of a legal situation here could be dealing with a libra talking about justice in reverse the truth came out basically yeah the truth was found out oh yeah so now it's like here they come rushing in because now it's like the tower happened you found some stuff out now they're like oh my gosh she walked away from me he walked away from me but you know they're still undecided what to do why are they undecided spirit they want to come in fast. They're in their head. Y'all, they're confusing me. <laughs> they're in their head. You could be dealing with an air sign. Another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But they're not wanting to cut something off with you. They're, but they are coming out of worrying about the situation here. So again, look, there goes that offer. I told y'all. It's like... As soon as you guys found this out, you, I feel like you guys set some boundaries. You're like, I'm not dealing with this shit no more. Like, I'm tired. You know, enough is enough. You walked away from them. And now that you walked away from them, it got them to thinking. This is when the hermit came out. They've been doing some soul searching here. They realized, like, okay, I got to stop playing these games because I'm going to lose him or I'm going to lose her. So now here, come, here comes the king. Oh, now you want to come with, in with an offer after I walk away from you. Oh, okay, look at you can't make this shit up, y'all. The Hierophant, oh, now you want a commitment? Oh, now you want marriage. Oh, okay, you see? It's like, y'all have to set these boundaries. Let me see. Sorry, guys. These kind of flew out. Let's see. Yeah, because, like, this person is stuck in their head big time. Like, they don't know what to do. They feel like something's been lost. They feel like things are not going to improve, you know, but they want to come to you and apologize. But they don't have the confidence to do so. But they want to come out of feeling like they left you out in the cold. They want to right their wrong. But they're feeling guilty big time. Yeah, look. Now they want to give you an equal partnership. They want to give you that. Put in the 100%. You know, 100, 100. Because I don't do the 50, 50. You need to put in 100. So now they want to give that to you. Because they realize what they had. Look at that. The moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But look, the truth coming out. They want to come tell you everything. If there was any questions that you guys had, which is why you guys were spying, they want to tell you what's going on. They want to be honest with you. Yeah, look. They're getting rid of their options, guys. But they're frustrated. They're not opening up to you. Why are they frustrated again? Seven of... Excuse me. Eight of swords. Why are they frustrated? They're frustrated because now they want to offer you their cup of love. They want to offer you security. Big offer here, but they're scared. I feel like that you're not going to take it. Yeah, because look, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about their home life. They're thinking about kids. They're just, they're thinking. Look, now they want balance. They want balance in this situation, guys. They'll be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. Look, now they have a message. You see what happened when y'all put y'all foot down? Y'all see how they come crawling back? But it's like maybe this person is immature. Tell me about the Page of Cups in reverse. They know their actions were very immature. Maybe they, that's what they want to tell you. Maybe they're like, hey, I was behaving, you know. Ooh, almost saw three of swords. Maybe they want to say, you know, y'all was being very immature. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. I know I've messed up. I know you've given me a lot of chance. But, you know, this time is going to be different. Like, they're frustrated. They're frustrated. They don't know what to do. They feel lost without you is what I'm getting. Yeah, but look, it's like they weren't using their intuition. Or maybe they're not using their intuition now. Maybe you guys are waiting for them to reach out. And it's like, because they don't know what to do, it's like they're not making a move right now because they're literally scared. But they want things to improve. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys are dealing with your twin flame here. I've been getting a lot of twin flame cards, you know, in this reading. But, you know, they want balance with you. They want contentment with you. They want to be with you. But, look, they're, they're heartbroken because they know they put you through that three-party situation here. But, look, they walked away from it with the devil in reverse. Mm. Okay. Y'all, my moon is in Aquarius, so y'all should... <laughs> I wish I could see my face right now. Like, oh, okay. But they're scared. Like, you're not going to move forward with them. Like I said, could be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, but they made a decision, guys. Two of Pentacles. What's the decision? Mmm, okay. Let me see. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so they could have been dealing with a water sign. I'm getting two different things here. Some of you guys, this person that you're dealing with or in a relationship with, they were dealing with a water sign. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and they're realizing that person didn't make them happy. They're no longer taking the leap with them. Um, or this could be you guys embodying the Queen of Cups. They're feeling like they're not sure how to take you at this point because you're not speaking to them. You're not showing them any emotions. You're keeping everything held in because you're just tired you're frustrated they're feeling like because you're not expressing yourself because you probably were the one that always reached out you know to them because you're not doing it they don't know how to take it it's like your love has turned into anger you know they know you're not happy they feel like you're not going to take a leap with them because they were sitting here being sneaky all along and they know you're tired of it Aquarius your car but they're trying to have hope in this situation because look they want the ten of cups with you they want happiness here yeah, so Aquarius, you know, please let me know what's going on if this resonates with you because this is very interesting. I, I want to see, you know, your take on it. All right, you guys, thank you so much again um, for viewing my channel. Again, I wanted to do this because you guys gave me my first 100 views, which I'm so appreciative of. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys soon.